Georgia's Department of Driver Services has been open for months. You can make an appointment at the Department of Revenue, the IRS, Social Security. A lot of people are saying it is time for Georgia's Department of Labor to join the crowd. It's Labor Day. Open up the door. Open up the door. Georgia Department of Labor Day, where state lawmakers and advocates with North Georgia's Labor Council staged a protest. They stood in front of these signs that were placed on the DOL's doors, a message that there are plenty of jobs. And I want to point out the sign there that says there's over 230,000 jobs listed on their website. Yeah, we still have barricades up and the doors are still locked in front of the unemployment office. The pandemic was an unbelievable scenario for a labor department that was at its lowest staffing in years. The demand for UI benefits was so overwhelming, it was impossible to get through. They never pick up the phone. By closing to the public, the DOL says its workers managed to pay out nearly $22 billion in claims. But there was, and still is, a group of Georgians who could not get their claims processed. More than 20,000 emails came into CBS 46 over the past year with complaints like this. We downloaded everything they asked for. We went to ID me. But with mask mandates lifted and life moving towards the new normal, the argument to stay closed is losing ground. Here's what Commissioner Butler said a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we're actually uh, working with a lot of our partner agencies that share the same space uh, on coming in uh, to come up with a, a mutual agreeable uh, reopening date. But and he said that on the same day Governor Kemp bowed out two months early from the $300 federal supplements, now ending June 26th. Advocates say, we will not tolerate this. We will not stand down, and we are here to say, open the door. Okay. Georgia's Department of Labor wouldn't comment on today's protest because they say it was a political event. But I want you to see this because here in Norcross, even now, people are posting messages in the door, and there's still no clear date on when these doors will reopen. In Norcross, better call Harry, CBS 46 News. Harry, thank you.